Hello everyone and welcome back to another Squad Builder video. Today for you I have a full Japanese squad for you to enjoy and this formation is the 412122 formation. So the first player in this team is Kawashima. Now he's an okay goalkeeper. He gives you pretty average performances and he's nothing special at all. He did make one or two really great saves but in the end he wasn't that good to be quite honest with you. At left back we have Sakai and Sakai is... Well, he's he's mediocre. Uh, he's no Japanese left back since Nagatomo. He moved to left mid, and he became really the only choice. Now I could have played uh, some of the other right backs at this position, but I thought it would be good to have this guy in there. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like it might be a good idea. The centre back goes to Yoshida. Now think of any god defender in this game. And this man is not one of them. He's great. He has great defensive stats for a silver, but he's just inconsistent. I would say not worth the money, but he's the only Japanese centre back, as well as his non informed So I'd suggest getting just the non informed if you're going to make this team. Now the other centre back goes to Sakai. I got to put the Sakai's together on the left side. This guy was not very good at centre back, and it's basically not his position. He was always out of position with left gaps in the team which was unfortunate but I guess you gotta you gotta roll with that anyway the right back goes to Ushida he decided to put this guy at uh, right back only because he was a rare I thought he was all right not fantastic just all right defensively sound and he provided good crosses too but that was about it now the CDM goes to Hosogai and Hosogai he's got good work rates for a CDM to be honest with you he's actually not a bad holding midfielder purely because of his positioning and he gave satisfactory support for defenders which um, held up the team well. Now the CMs are actually cams. One of them is Kiyotake. Now Kiyotake, he's not bad. Was not seen for patches of games. Yeah, sure, but understandable considering he is an attacking midfielder. And but what I liked about him was his good passing and his good vision. Now the other CM goes to the big boy uh, Honda. Now nope, just nope. <laughs> not a central midfielder. The only times I ever saw him was when he took free kicks, which, by the way, were fantastic. I believe that he's one of the best uh, free kick takers, if not the best. I don't know. I haven't used other really good ones. And the cam goes to Kagawa. Now, he's one of the first players I bought in UT. I bought him for 40k. He's going for like 130k on PlayStation. And he is mesmerizing, possibly purely because he has such high dribbling stats. He's He gets around defenders so simply. His through balls were out of this world and only questionable thing is his strength. He got pushed off the ball from time to time. Now Okazaki, more assists than goals in the end for this striker, never was satisfied with his work up there. He latched onto Kagawa's through balls well but one in two chance of scoring, uh, which I don't like those odds at all. Now the other striker goes to Tanaka. You know what? I thought this player was much better than Okazaki. He seemed like more of a threat than Okazaki and got into good positions constantly. I thought he was a very handy player in the end. Now, uh, normally you'll get 93 chemistry with this team, but as you can probably tell, I've uh, I've had I've played more than 10 games with a lot of the players, so I actually get it to 99 chem. So make sure you put a Bundesliga manager to get that 100 chemistry. I believe that will work. Now overall, there's only two ways to score with this team. You run at the defense with Kagawa, you dribble past them using LTRT. Uh, or you pass the ball to Kagawa, he'll find a guaranteed through pass to the strikers and you just have to hope that the strikers actually get onto the ball, shoot and get past the keeper which was the problem in many cases which is the reason I didn't like it. In defence, I thought the defence was shocking. Of course you've got to understand that there were, o there were only right backs and one centre back so there was nothing else I could do but they're just shit. There's no point in playing them to be honest with you. I wish I had no defence whatsoever. Anyway, that's getting this video right here. I do have a compilation of goals at the end like I do with every Squad Builder video. So please enjoy that. And I will see you on the next video, which hopefully should be very shortly. Goodbye.